Hi. Hey everyone! We're here today. We've got a great series of reviews. First, we're going to go over the new 2020 black iridescent studded Starbucks tumbler. Just came out today, August 25th. And also, we're going to cover the international studded tumblers that are releasing at the end of this month. And Ellie's going to give us a nice review of the pumpkin cream cold brew that just came out. So, um, you can see we've got our little, um, I guess, cover photo. Yeah. Ellie's holding the two cups. Um, there's two sizes. We have the small one and the large one. Yeah. So, this is a 24 ounce and this is a 16 ounce. And um, I don't think it's like a true black. I feel like these tumblers are like a green jade color. And in the light, you can kind of see it's like a little bronze, rose gold, like metallic looking. Mm -hmm. um, I thought they were, honestly, I thought they were going to be a little bit more darker. Um, but I do like this color. I feel like this goes with a lot of um, like outfits. It's going to go great with the fall colors. I feel like this is very like nice tumbler yeah um it's just like any other tumbler that they release like the pink one or like the iridescent mm -hmm. one but just darker yeah it looks exactly the same as any other cup any yeah. other tumbler completely like studded you've got the these how much is this these are this one is 17 dollars plus tax around 19 dollars. and then this one is 19.95 plus tax so around 22 dollars in our area yeah um and this small one, I did not know today, um, is a Target exclusive. So a girl online told me that this is a Target exclusive. So these are going to be a little bit more hard to come by, but I think they're super awesome. I've never seen small ones. So this might be the yeah. first time they've sold studded tumblers in this size. I'm yeah, I've sure. never, this is the first time I've ever seen a small tumbler. And just saying we're like very new to this um, Starbucks tumbler like thing um this is our first time ever lining up in the stores to get them early um i didn't know there was such hype for these cups um these cups are can go up for like over a hundred dollars like the black matte ones that we've seen are like a hundred hundred three dollars and people will pay like a high price for these cups because they're so limited one of my friends um she said i'll pay you double like for a cup like this like these cups are very like trendy right now everybody wants these cups everybody is going crazy over these cups mm -hmm. and i can see why like i have had i actually have a pink um iridescent tumbler just like this that i got last year and i get a ton of com compliments a ton of compliments on it even right now i still get people at work saying oh my god that cup is so cute where'd you get it and um i didn't know there was such hype over these cups and I feel like they're very durable. Like, I've had them for a year. They are a little delicate at the top. Um, I've dropped mine a couple of times. That, I mean, that's just me. And they, there are cracks, but it still seals completely. So even there's, like, a little crack on the sides, um, they're still very, like, durable. They're not going to, like, break easily. I know that the um, the color-changing, like, speckled ones, um, those break easily. Mm -hmm. um, once you drop them, they kind of just crack at the bottom. They're very like cheap. They're I think they're only three dollars to buy. Yeah. Yeah. So um, this morning you actually woke up really early. Yeah, I woke up at around five o'clock because I knew that Starbucks in our area is a lot of them opened at five thirty. There is one that opened at three thirty today, but that's just a little too early for me. And so um, I woke up right around five thirty. It was hard to get out of bed, but I went straight to Starbucks. Got there around five forty-five. And that one was already sold out of the black studded tumblers. And so I was um, a little upset. And so I left and I was like, okay, there's got to be another Starbucks with some tumblers in, uh, available. So I went about 10 minutes further down the street and that Starbucks was sold out. So I was just pulling out my hair. <laughs> I ended up ordering a salted caramel uh, cold brew with extra cold foam. That's Ellie's favorite. That's my to-go drink. Yeah, maybe so not anymore. definitely we'll go try it. it. Um, we do have the new pumpkin cream cold brew that came out today that Ellie loves, and I think it's pretty good, too. Yeah. We'll give you a review on that. But um, I went to another Starbucks 10 minutes down the road, maybe, and then that one had already sold out. So all three Starbucks I hit up at 5.30, almost 6 o'clock in the morning, had sold out within a couple minutes. Yeah. And so that tells you how popular these cups so are. So you know there was people there probably earlier waiting. Yeah. And we've been looking for these cups for like two weeks. 
um, my sister works at Starbucks and I was, I'm always asking her like, hey, have you seen these cups? And she was like, look, like looking out for me and trying to find them. But um, we also went to the stores and tried to like see if there was any like early releases because there was rumors about Target having early releases. So we would go and check, but there was never any until today. Yeah. So then. So then um, we knew that Target was going to open up at 8 o'clock and each Target, there's two Targets around our area and both of them have a Starbucks inside of them and they both open at 8 o'clock. And so our game plan the whole time for two weeks was we're going to hit up these Targets. Mm -hmm. And we knew that the one by her house had uh, them in stock just because there was a stock finder. Yeah, the one in McChesney had 16 right on the app or website. Yeah. And we weren't sure if the Starbucks on East State, the one he went to, had any. Yeah. So we were, we knew like for sure the one that I was going to had some, but we never knew if there was going to be any for you. So I got there like at 7.30ish and there was like one other person in their car and like five minutes later there was more people arriving, but they were all in the car. So we just, I just stayed in the car until like closer to eight. Then the last girl that came in her car um, she like sprinted towards the door. So we all kind of like looked around and I was like, oh my God, I need to get in line. So I ended up being the fourth person in line. And by the time like I was there, like by the time eight o'clock hit, there was a big line of people. Yeah. How many people would you say are in line? Um, it like wrapped around the store. No so, way. Yeah. Like I looked back and there was like people like behind. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. So maybe like 30 people. Holy yeah, crap. and then some people had like there were like group of people. There were like a couple, and there were like a family. So maybe like I don't know, like yeah, like thirty people. Yeah. So once eight o'clock hit, um, and the employees opened the door, the employee said there was only one cup per customer, and I was like, kind of confused. I'm like, how? Yeah, because <laughs> we thought, well, we knew there was only gonna be sixteen, so like. That kind of figures that there'd be one per person, but... Yeah, but if you get there early, you should be able to get more. Yeah. I don't know. So, everybody um, got in line, and the first person ordered this big one. And then but the second girl that ordered was very upset that she could only get one cup. She was, like, very being very rude to the employee. She was saying, I don't know how I can only get one cup. Like, why can't I get both cups? And she was trying to order, like... They, I guess they have other cups that came with this release. They had like a rose gold one or something else. Yeah, there was like two other, two or three other ones next to these cups. So these cups were actually behind the counter, so I couldn't even grab them. Mm. They were not on shelves or anything because the first lady that, w that showed up there, she's like, where are the cups? And they were behind the counter, but we didn't realize that. So the lady, the second lady, um, was very upset that she could only get one cup. And she when she was trying to order, I mean, get the other cup, she was like, why can I get two different cups? They're not the same style. They're not the same anything. Yeah. And the employee just kept saying, like, one per customer, one per customer. That's all I've been told. Yeah, she does have a point. That yeah. You should be able to get at least one large, one small, especially yeah. if you're waiting in line and you yeah. get up early for it. And these small ones, the 16-ounce ones, are a Target exclusive. And I feel like it's the first time we've ever seen, like, a miniature version. Yeah. Like, I've only seen the venti ones. I've never seen the small ones. Maybe they have been there. I don't know, we're, we're new to this. Yeah, go ahead and comment below if you've seen the 16-ounce small tumbler. First time yeah. I've seen one, but these are super awesome, and I didn't even know they were available until I was in line this morning. So my story, I was there at 7.30 in the morning, mm -hmm. and when I drove up, I could see like a couple people in their cars. They looked like they were there for Starbucks cups. You can just tell <laughs> yeah. when people are waiting in their cars yeah. to line up for things. And so as soon as Ellie told me that there's people lining up at her store, I was like, okay, I didn't see a line, but I walked up, started the line at my target, and right after me, there was a girl walking up, and she had some scrubs on, and she's like, are you here for the Starbucks cups? I'm like, yeah, I'm here, and so we started talking about Starbucks cups, and she says she's like a big collector, and she was telling me about how there's a small uh, tumbler and a large tumbler. She said this is like the mommy, the uh, small one, and it's like the daughter. It's like mommy and me cups, basically. Yeah, mommy and me cups. And, um, yeah, so we talked about that, and then we talked a little bit about the international tumblers that are coming out, um, ones in Mexico, Europe, and Asia, and so we'll give you some pictures of that shortly. 
But um, yeah, I was waiting in line for about 20, 30 minutes and more people started lining up. Not as many as 30 people, but we had like maybe eight to 10 people in line. And as soon as they opened the doors up, everybody cut straight to the Starbucks because it's right by the uh, doors. And I just grabbed as many as I could because I know they make great gifts. Yeah, and... but your Starbucks had um, on the shelf, like in the t table, they were not behind the counter. Right. Yeah. So there was like a small table set up. There was probably about 15 of the small cups and maybe 30 or so of the large cups. And so I just grabbed as many as I could with two hands. I ended up grabbing like four smalls and um, three larges or two larges. And then I walked up to the counter. She's like, how many are you buying? And I ended up buying, um, going back in line and grabbing two more. So I got five of these small ones and three large ones. Yeah. And so a total of eight and uh, she overcharged me for one because she didn't know that I had only three tumblers. She thought I had four large tumblers. So we had to go back and get like a Target gift card. But nevertheless, I walked out of there with eight tumblers. Um, they're hard to get. And I know these small ones, these Target exclusive ones are very, very hard to get. Yeah. And there's not a lot of reviews on these. So I think, you know, uh, go ahead and leave a like. <laughs> this is your first black iridescent small tumbler re review that you've seen on YouTube. Yeah. Also, if you've seen a, um, seen any around your area and they're still available, go ahead and let people know where they are so they can go get them. Um, but yeah, I was very happy to get that many tumblers. Yeah. And, um, so yesterday, actually, my sister was working and she sent me a Snapchat saying that they were almost sold out of these. So her Starbucks actually got them a day early technically and like set them up and by the time that I got there there was only one left. Yeah. So I got the last one from the store. So I got one yesterday and one today. So I was only able to get two and he basically got the rest. I so total we have yeah. five five tall I mean five venti and five. Yeah. Tall. And I know people are going to be like, oh, you really don't need eight cups. Um, yeah, that's true. <laughs> um, the girl behind me ended up grabbing a big armful of cups, too. It's just, you know, people are waiting in line. Yeah. There's a high demand for these cups. If you can get more than one, I do recommend getting more than one just because uh, why not? Um, <laughs> they make great gifts. You yes. can always sell them. And, you know, if you buy two, you can sell one and then you've got yours for free. So um, it just makes sense, you know. Yes, people are very, paying very a large amount of money for these cups. They are going like for a hundred or more. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure these are gonna be very like sought after. They are new. They are black. Everybody likes black. Everybody is gonna put their pumpkin spice like drinks in here. Yeah. So the new drink that I tried today was the pumpkin cream cold brew, and I'm done with it. I finished it. It's actually a very very good drink um i usually get the salted caramel cream cold brew extra cold foam and i got i was getting that drink consistently i was like good to, to go drink so this one is gonna be definitely my new drink to go to um it's very fall very pumpkin-y um i love how it looks too like when you first get it it's like dark and then like the cream just like melts into the mm -hmm. cold brew I love that. I love seeing it every single time. It looks very pretty. <laughs> yep. And they taste pretty good. Like I said, I usually get the salted caramel cold brew because Ellie showed, showed them to me and they're really good. These taste really good, exactly like some pumpkin spice that you would get, but uh, a little less spicy. I wouldn't say they're as spice, spicy as a yeah, pumpkin I feel spice. Like, I feel like, yeah, that's true. I feel like the pumpkin spice lattes are very more pumpkin-y. This one, I do taste the pumpkin in it, but not as strong. Yeah. And I like that. I feel like it's enough pumpkin for me. I don't like it super saturated in pumpkin spice. Yeah. But I love it. It's very, like, easy to drink. They do add some, like, sp pumpkin spice, like, actual spices. You can see a little bit here on the top. And then just kind of, like, swirl it together. Mm -hmm. It's actually really nice. Mm -hmm. And how much sugar is in it? I'm surprised there's not much sugar in it. I think it's only, like, 30 grams of sugar yeah. in it. Um, yeah. For a vent for 24 ounces, there's only um, three grams of sugar. Oh, that's protein. Oh, I'm sorry. Sugar is zero. zero grams. And we're not sure if that comes, it includes the cold foam or not, because the cold foam really does taste really sugary. It's Yeah, it's very sweet. Um, but it could just be hidden in here because there is somehow 40 grams of carbohydrates. So 
Maybe they're counting something else as sugar in this, yeah, but it is very. It's not like it's super sweet, and it's not like it's super like bitter either. It's very. I feel like it's very like in between in the middle. I I think it's a very good drink. Um, it's not super sweet. Yeah. And that's. I feel like that's like what I like. I don't like anything being super sweet because I feel like I'm drinking too much sugar, and that's not yeah. <laughs> ideal. Um, what about the International Cups? Oh yeah, so um, another big part of this video is looking at the International Cups that are coming out. And so here, uh, I found out about this today from the girl that was in line behind me. Uh, thanks to her, she showed me that there's this new matte black studded tumbler coming out uh, in Mexico. This is a Mexico exclusive. It looks just like last year's Halloween cup. Yeah. So if you're looking to pay a little less, because this one's going for 130 I think the ones from last year are going for around 200 So if you're looking to pick one up, definitely get one. There's pre-orders. I'm guessing you can find it for cheaper than 130 Yeah, and that's like the average price. So I feel like you're not going to pay like more than 200 I feel like 200 is a little ridiculous, honestly. But I feel like around the 180 $70 range is where they're going for right now. But who knows? Maybe because it's like fall, people are going to want like a black um, tumbler drink out of i don't know mm -hmm. um but those are really nice i feel like that matte black finish is very very pretty yeah you can take a lot of instagram pictures with it i yep. feel like it's super cute next we'll look at the china one this one's got a really cool rabbit uh straw topper on it and once again this is like asia exclusive or potentially china exclusive and this one's really nice. It's got a nice blue iridescent Aqua. look. Yeah, it's very bright blue. It's very pretty. It's like a sky blue almost. And, yeah. Um, it really shines a lot when you when you shine light on it. So this one's going for eighty dollars. Eighty dollars. Um, it's not bad. Really, it's a lot of the shipping cost to get from true. China to the United States. I don't know why they do that. I don't know why they um, stop exclusives like certain tumblers in certain countries like what's the deal with that why can't we do it all the time yeah like every place yeah every and place I, should be, have the ability to purchase yeah, all then, the colors yeah because then people are making a ton of money i mean i guess whatever it just but, makes it hard for us to get a tumbler that we like is there like in um like in america american i think the black ones might be like a, american exclusive not sure don't quote me on that but leave a comment if you know yeah, like uh, we said, we're very new to this. We don't know exactly like much about how this works. Yeah, I tried looking on Reddit, and there's not a lot of information. So I'm sure somebody out there has information. Please let us know. Yeah. Here is the last uh, regional cup for Europe. This is the rainbow iridescent, really nice one. Um, here it is, a little zoomed in. Yeah, that's a very pretty cup, actually. It's like. Not holographic, it's like what's called like unicorn skin. Um, iridescent, very cute. I feel like that would be a I feel like that's a more like summer spring color. Yeah. Um definitely a darker like black one, like this one, iridescent black is more fall. Yeah. Um, I wonder if they're gonna have like I wonder if they're ever gonna restock. Like I've never seen them restock anything, so I don't know if they are. Yeah. So this one, yeah, like I always said, is a really nice light color. Pretty much the opposite of the black yeah. iridescent, but um, still super cool. So those are the three regional ones. And yeah, we gave you a review on the pumpkin cream cold brew, which is very tasty. Go ahead and go out to your Starbucks and try one. It's going to be very popular. Like Ellie said, they're a statement piece. It's almost like a purse yeah. or a wallet or shoes. I'm pretty sure if you get them, like the second I go to um, work with this cup, Everybody's going to be telling me, asking me where I got them. Yeah. Like, this is, I always get stopped. And I feel like whenever I see someone with a nice, like today, I saw um, a Target employee or a Starbucks employee, I'm not sure, walking in. And she had like an iridescent cup. And in the sunlight, it looks so pretty. Like, I really wanted to, to like snatch it from her. But I feel like no matter what, like, if you have a cup like this, people are always going to stop you. It's very, like, pretty. Um, I understand why people are love these cups so much people are very like they're collectors it's like with anything like with shoes clothes purses there are very like people want them 
They look nice. They're great quality. People want them. Yeah, so I think that's it for today. Once again, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe. Yeah. Um, we're trying to put out more content here. Yeah. Um, Let us know if you know more information about these cups because they're, like we said, we're very new to this. So if you know more information on the cups, the, the international ones, like, please comment below because we educate us, please. Yeah, like if you tried to cop one today and you got one, you were successful, we'd love to hear about it, what your story was yes, like. Yes, let us know if like you're, um, if you went to Target, let us know if your Target like had them behind the counter or on the table, mm -hmm. or if you went to Starbucks, if they had them behind the counter or on, like on display, because that's very um, interesting to me how some stores in the same area basically had two different like policies. Mm -hmm. I don't know, it's kind of sketch. Yeah. So hopefully you all got lucky, um, got a tumbler, got your pumpkin, cream cold brew, yeah. and yeah, had a good day just like we did. So um, thank you very much, and looking forward <laughs> to putting out more video and more content for you all. Yeah. Bye. Bye. <laughs>